for the year. And among other things, it was going to be a significant Beethoven year because it marked the 250th anniversary of Beethoven's birth. So in 2019, uh, I was thinking about ways to uh, commemorate this. And uh, just like Mrs. Lovett and Sweeney Todd, right at me, how could we have? And uh, I had the idea of uh, doing all 10 of the Beethoven sonatas for violin and piano, dividing them up uh, into five concerts with five different violinists. And so five violinists in the Arkansas Symphony agreed to do that. And then things happened. And so we are restarting this project. And this afternoon is the first of the projected series of five recitals, uh, this time with the Catherine Williamson, assistant concert master of the symphony. And I'll just say a few words about the first piece. Uh, it was written when Beethoven was about 30 years old, and his hearing loss was just beginning to manifest itself. Uh, the piece is in three movements, as you can see. The other movements are quite fast. And they're full of Beethoven's typical tricks of uh, sudden starts and stops, sudden changes in dynamic level, sudden uh, accents. So in other words, expect the unexpected. Uh, the second movement is slower than the others, and it tries to have things both ways. Because on the one hand, it functions as a slow movement. But on the other hand, it's also functioning as a scherzo or playful movement. So you'll hear lots of humorous back and forth between the violin and the piano.
installment of this series will be Monday, November 15th, I believe, whatever that Monday is, with uh, Carol Laskarov, uh, one of the concertmasters of the Arkansas Symphony. Uh, the second sonata this afternoon comes from around the year 1812, uh, when Napoleon was visiting Russia, and when Beethoven was around uh, 42 years old, and, uh, his hearing had almost completely deteriorated by this time. And the first moment of this piece is going to be a much different Beethoven from what you heard before, because in this initial movement, he's very expansive and lyrical and just letting things unfold at their own pace. Uh, the second movement is one of those Beethoven movements of endless melody uh, and heavenly calm, uh, which leads immediately into the scherzo, which is not really a humorous scherzo, it's more of a dramatic scherzo. And then uh, the trio of this uh, scherzo sounds like a, an Austrian peasant dance, very much in that mode. The final movement is a theme and variations. And the theme itself sounds so innocent, so harmless, like a folk tune. What could be simpler or more natural than that? But as the variations progress, Beethoven twists this theme in all kinds of ways. And just to give you one quick example, towards the end, there is a very creepy crawling passage which begins deep down in the piano. <coughs> which doesn't sound like it has anything to do with the theme, but put it up in pitch, and then change one note from minor to major, and then alter the rhythm, back to the theme. So everything ties back to that.
Thank you.